Nauru, Nauru or Nowru, Nauruan, Nauero, officially the Republic of Nauru, Nauruan, Republican Nauero, and formerly known as Pleasant Island, is an island country and microstate in Micronesia, part of Oceania in the Central Pacific. Its nearest neighbor is Banaba of Kiribati, about 300 kilometers, 190 miles, to the east. It lies northwest of Tuvalu, 1,300 kilometers, 810 miles, northeast of the Solomon Islands, east-northeast of Papua New Guinea, southeast of the Federated States of Micronesia and south of the Marshall Islands. With an area of only 21 square kilometers, 8.1 square miles, Nauru is the third smallest country in the world, larger than only Vatican City and Monaco, making it the smallest Republican island nation. Its population of about 10,800 is the world's third smallest, not including colonies or overseas territories, larger than only Vatican City and Tuvalu. Settled by people from Micronesia circa 1000 BCE, Nauru was annexed and claimed as a colony by the German Empire in the late 19th century. After World War I, Nauru became a League of Nations mandate administered by Australia, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. During World War II, Nauru was occupied by Japanese troops, and was bypassed by the Allied advance across the Pacific. After the war ended, the country entered into United Nations trusteeship. Nauru gained its independence in 1968. Nauru is a phosphate rock island with rich deposits near the surface, which allowed easy strip mining operations for over a century. However, this has seriously harmed the country's environment, causing the island nation to suffer from what is often referred to as the resource curse. The phosphate was exhausted in the 1990s, and the remaining reserves are not economically viable for extraction. A trust established to manage the island's accumulated mining wealth, set up for the day the reserves would be exhausted, has diminished in value. To earn income, Nauru briefly became a tax haven and a legal money laundering center. At various points since 2001, it has accepted aid from the Australian government in exchange for hosting the Nauru Regional Processing Centre, a controversial offshore Australian immigration detention facility. As a result of heavy dependence on Australia, some sources have identified Nauru as a client state of Australia. The sovereign state is a member of the United Nations, the Commonwealth of Nations, and the Organisation of African, Caribbean, and Pacific States. History Nauru was first settled by Micronesians at least 3,000 years ago, and there is evidence of possible Polynesian influence. Comparatively little is known of Nauruan prehistory, although the island is believed to have had a long period of isolation, which accounts for the distinct language that developed among the inhabitants. There were traditionally 12 clans or tribes on Nauru, which are represented in the 12 pointed star on the country's flag. Traditionally, Nauruans traced their descent matrilineally. Inhabitants practiced aquaculture, they caught juvenile milkfish, known as Ibija in Nauruan, acclimatized them to freshwater, and raised them in Buada Lagoon, providing a reliable food source. The other locally grown components of their diet included coconuts and pandanus fruit. The name, Nauru, may derive from the Nauruan word Anoero, which means, I go to the beach. In 1798, the British sea captain John Fern, on his trading ship Hunter, 300 tons, became the first Westerner to report sighting Nauru, calling it Pleasant Island because of its attractive appearance. From at least 1826, Nauruans had regular contact with Europeans on whaling and trading ships who called for provisions and fresh drinking water. The last whaler to call during the Age of Sail visited in 1904. Around this time, deserters from European ships began to live on the island. The islanders traded food for alcoholic palm wine and firearms. The firearms were used during the 10-year Nauruan Civil War that began in 1878. After an agreement with Great Britain, Nauru was annexed by Germany in 1888 and incorporated into Germany's Marshall Islands Protectorate for administrative purposes. The arrival of the Germans ended the Civil War, and kings were established as rulers of the island. The most widely known of these was King Nauweida. Christian missionaries from the Gilbert Islands arrived in 1888. The German settlers called the island, Nawodo, or, Onawero. The Germans ruled Nauru for almost three decades. Robert Rash, a German trader who married a 15-year-old Nauruan girl, was the first administrator, appointed in 1890. Phosphate was discovered on Nauru in 1900 by the prospector Albert Fuller Ellis. 
the Pacific Phosphate Company began to exploit the reserves in 1906 by agreement with Germany, exporting its first shipment in 1907. In 1914, following the outbreak of World War I, Nauru was captured by Australian troops. In 1919, it was agreed by the Allied and Associated Powers that His Britannic Majesty should be the administering authority under a League of Nations mandate. The Nauru Island Agreement forged in 1919 between the governments of the United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand provided for the administration of the island and extraction of the phosphate deposits by an intergovernmental British Phosphate Commission, BPC. The terms of the League of Nations mandate were drawn up in 1920. The island experienced an influenza epidemic and ongoing colonial strife through the early 20th century, with a mortality rate of 18% among native Nauruans. In 1923, the League of Nations gave Australia a trustee mandate over Nauru, with the United Kingdom and New Zealand as co-trustees. On 6 and 7 December 1940, the German auxiliary cruisers Kamei and Orion sank five supply ships in the vicinity of Nauru. Kamei then shelled Nauru's phosphate mining areas, oil storage depots, and the shiploading cantilever. Japanese troops occupied Nauru on 25 August 1942. The Japanese built two airfields which were bombed for the first time on 25 March 1943, preventing food supplies from being flown to Nauru. The Japanese deported 1,200 Nauruans to work as laborers in the Shuk Islands, which was also occupied by Japan. As part of the Allied strategy of island hopping from the Pacific Islands towards the main islands of Japan, Nauru was bypassed and left to wither on the vine. Nauru was finally taken back from the Japanese on 13 September 1945, when Commander Hisayaki Soeda surrendered the island to the Australian Army and the Royal Australian Navy. The surrender was accepted by Brigadier J. R. Stevenson, who represented Lieutenant General Vernon Sturdy, the commander of the 1st Australian Army, aboard the warship HMAS Diamantina. Arrangements were made to repatriate from Shuk the 745 Nauruans who survived Japanese captivity there. They were returned to Nauru by the BPC ship Trienza in January 1946. In 1947, a trusteeship was established by the United Nations, with Australia, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom as trustees. Under those arrangements, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand were a joint administering authority. The Nauru Island Agreement provided for the first administrator to be appointed by Australia for five years, leaving subsequent appointments to be decided by the three governments. However, in practice, administrative power was exercised by Australia alone. The 1948 Nauru riots occurred when Chinese guano mining workers went on strike over pay and conditions. The Australian administration imposed a state of emergency with native police and armed volunteers of locals and Australian officials being mobilised. This force, using submachine guns and other firearms, opened fire on the Chinese workers killing two and wounding 16. Around 50 of the workers were arrested and two of these were bayoneted to death while in custody. The trooper who bayoneted the prisoners was charged but later acquitted on grounds that the wounds were accidentally received. The governments of the Soviet Union and China made official complaints against Australia at the United Nations over this incident. In 1964, it was proposed to relocate the population of Nauru to Curtis Island off the coast of Queensland, Australia. By that time, Nauru had been extensively mined for phosphate by companies from Australia, Britain, and New Zealand damaging the landscape so much that it was thought the island would be uninhabitable by the 1990s. Rehabilitating the island was seen as financially impossible. In 1962, Australian Prime Minister Robert Menzies said that the three countries involved in the mining had an obligation to provide a solution for the Nauruan people, and proposed finding a new island for them. In 1963, the Australian government proposed to acquire all the land on Curtis Island, which was considerably larger than Nauru and then offer the Nauruans freehold title over the island and that the Nauruans would become Australian citizens. The cost of resettling the Nauruans on Curtis Island was estimated to be 10 million, 324 million Australian dollars in 2022, which included housing and infrastructure and the establishment of pastoral, agricultural, and fishing industries. However, the Nauruan people did not wish to become Australian citizens and wanted to be given sovereignty over Curtis Island to establish themselves as an independent nation, which Australia would not agree to. Nauru rejected the proposal to move to Curtis Island, 
instead choosing to become an independent nation operating their mines in Nauru. Nauru became self-governing in January 1966, and following a two-year constitutional convention, it became independent on 31 January 1968 under founding President Hammer de Robert. In 1967, the people of Nauru purchased the assets of the British Phosphate Commissioners, and in June 1970, control passed to the locally owned Nauru Phosphate Corporation, NPC. Income from the mines made Nauruans among the richest people in the world. In 1989, Nauru took legal action against Australia in the International Court of Justice over Australia's administration of the island, in particular, Australia's failure to remedy the environmental damage caused by phosphate mining. Certain phosphate lands, Nauru versus Australia led to an out-of-court settlement to rehabilitate the mined-out areas of Nauru. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, a state of emergency was declared in Nauru on 17 March 2020. The declaration to minimize the outbreak was signed by President Lionel Angimia during a period of 30 days. Geography Nauru is a 21 square kilometers, 8.1 square miles, oval-shaped island in the southwestern Pacific Ocean, 55.95 kilometers, 34.77 miles, south of the equator. The island is surrounded by a fringing coral reef, which is exposed at low tide and dotted with pinnacles. The presence of the reef has prevented the establishment of a seaport, although channels in the reef allow small boats access to the island. A fertile coastal strip 150 to 300 meters, 490 to 980 feet, wide lies inland from the beach. Coral cliffs surround Nauru's central plateau. The highest point of the plateau, called the Command Ridge, is 71 meters, 233 feet, above sea level. The only fertile areas on Nauru are on the narrow coastal belt, where coconut palms flourish. The land around Buada Lagoon supports bananas, pineapples, vegetables, pandanus trees, and indigenous hardwoods, such as the tamanu tree. Nauru was one of three great phosphate rock islands in the Pacific Ocean, along with Banaba, Ocean Island, in Kiribati, and Makatea, in French Polynesia. The phosphate reserves on Nauru are now almost entirely depleted. Phosphate mining in the central plateau has left a barren terrain of jagged limestone pinnacles up to 15 meters, 49 feet, high. Mining has stripped and devastated about 80% of Nauru's land area, leaving it uninhabitable and has also affected the surrounding exclusive economic zone. 40% of marine life is estimated to have been killed by silt and phosphate runoff. Climate Nauru's climate is hot and very humid year-round because of its proximity to the equator and the ocean. Nauru is hit by monsoon rains between November and February. Annual rainfall is highly variable and is influenced by the El Nio Southern Oscillation, with several significant recorded droughts. The temperature on Nauru ranges between 30 and 35 C, 86 and 95 F, 